Okay, it's no surprise that computer science is one of the most sought after degrees right now. And many people are automatically choosing computer science as their major without actually really thinking about it. Maybe it's the fact that this degree gives them a high starting pay. Or maybe it's the fact that this degree allows you to have a job that is working remote and you no longer have to go into the office. I'm not ready to go back to work. But behind all these prestige and perks of computer science, this degree may not be for everyone. <laughs> so what is computer science? Although software is the main focus for computer science and many people choose to specialize in it, at its core, computer science is actually about problem solving. In the computer science course, you will learn new concepts and you'll be thrown into new environments. And under these conditions, you'll be tasked to problem solve. And usually the problems that you face are not the kind of problems that you face every day. Oh my god. They will be firstly very complex and they will also be very abstract. Also, if you're considering this course, do note that this course is actually quite math heavy. You have to do linear algebra, discrete mathematics, which includes a lot of proving, and there's even calculus and statistics. However, job opportunity wise, computer science does dominate this area. You can literally go into any industry that you like. Yay! Yes, has money! Mainly because every company requires technical support. Nearly every industry uses technology to conduct their business. What this means is that they will require professionals to develop their software, design their websites, and manage their database. So computer science graduates are actually quite well sought after. Some of the common roles that you will see are software engineering, which involves developing, maintaining, deploying, and even testing software itself. Web development, which again involves the front end and the back end and building features for both sides. Machine learning engineers, which involves building and maintaining machine learning models. And there are also even roles such as designing interfaces, UI UX, and there are much more. But apart from all these perks of computer science, this major may not be for everyone and I'll dive into that a little bit further. First, let's go through some bad reasons why you shouldn't study computer science. First is the lack of coding knowledge. Well, coding can be actually picked up quite easily and there are many free resources online that you can refer to. A computer science degree does not focus on coding itself. It focuses more on problem solving using coding. And on top of that, as a CS student, you will actually have to pick up multiple languages. And unless you know all these languages from the start, you will have to learn a new language anyway. So having no coding knowledge is definitely not a good reason why you shouldn't study computer science. Secondly is the idea that computer science market is oversaturated. And many people think that very soon the computer science degree would no longer be of value. And actually, this is just not true. In fact, I think it's the opposite. I think that the market is undersaturated and right now more than ever, computer science degree holders are really needed. I mean, just look at the number of startups and how many of them revolve around tech. And not to mention, the computer science degree really gives you a diverse array of opportunities and you can literally go into many different specializations. So yeah, this is really just not true. So let's go through some good reasons why you shouldn't take computer science. Firstly, you shouldn't take computer science if you hate math. <laughs> Although computer science main focus is not math, it is however very math heavy. If you hate math, then it shows that you really don't like problem solving, which is what computer science is really all about. If you see how math questions are being phrased, computer science questions are really phrased very similarly. And if you're not naturally in tune to solve math questions, then computer science questions are going to be a lot harder as they are more abstract and a lot more complex. So yeah, if you hate math, don't take computer science. I knew those straight C's in math would pay off someday. So the second reason why you shouldn't take computer science is if you hate sitting in front of your computer for several hours. So being a computer science major, you will actually have to problem solve. And some of the problems that you have to solve will take you a few hours, if not a few days. And you're going to have to do them all in front of your computer. And if you really hate sitting in front of your computer, then you really shouldn't be taking computer science as your major. Lastly, you shouldn't take computer science if you are not innately motivated and fascinated by the technology. Or in other words, you are only motivated by the money. The computer science course is definitely not an easy degree and if you are really in it for the money, then it's really not worth it. Mainly because you'll be spending multiple hours in front of your computer problem solving and if you are not innately curious to find out more, to learn more about the technology, then you're going to have a tough time keeping up with your peers. And on top of that, in computer science, there are a lot of people who are very passionate about the technology who will do their own due diligence to go and find out more, to go and learn way beyond the course. So yeah, you'll really lose out if you're not motivated by the technology. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope this video helped you in deciding whether you should take computer science as your major. So if this video did help you, do give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.